Welcome. Today I'm building two sets of LED eyes that change with a wireless remote. You can find the step-by-step -step tutorial for this project at the link in the description, including the parts list, circuit diagram, Arduino code, and sewing pattern. Let's go. I made the first version of this project a few years ago for Adafruit, and the basic version is perfect for beginners. The circuit's just two NeoPixel jewels and a Gemma microcontroller. But this year, for a DJ and laser performance my boyfriend and I were doing at my hackerspace, I wanted to create twin ghost hoods with colors that change simultaneously using a single remote. In comes the latching 315 MHz RF receivers and matching remote. These little sets create basically a remote button press, driving the corresponding pin high when the remote signal is detected. That's the Nerd Alert! This month, a bunch of nerdy creators, including myself, are participating in Nerd Thunder. It's a way for you to find more curious and passionate makers you might not have already known. So check out everybody's links in the description. I started with the NeoPixel part of this circuit, using 6-inch pieces of wire to connect the power, ground, and signal wires. Then another three wires connect between the first jewel and the Gemma, which are long enough to reach from my face area to the lapel area, in my case about 16 inches. I like to use thin gauge silicone coated stranded wire, which is flexible like a noodle. I used female header wires to connect to the receiver, which already comes with right angle headers installed. To power each circuit, I'm using a 500 milliamp hour LiPoly battery and some 3D printed holders that get stitched inside the costume. After assembling the two circuits, I tested out various LED animations and the remote. As I suspected, running the receivers at 3 volts instead of 5 still works, but the range is somewhat reduced. On to the sewing portion of this project. I used the same printable pattern I designed the first time around and cut it out of folded white fabric. Since I'm making two, I doubled the fabric over again so I could cut all the pieces out at once. I ultimately cut out another layer in white cheesecloth to add some more texture. The hood piece and shoulder piece each have shaping seams that need to be closed up first. Then they get sewn together at the neck seam. Next, I stitched a seam along the top of the hood with right sides together. A piece of 19 gauge galvanized steel wire supports the front edge of the hood, so I folded over the fabric and sewed a hem which will serve as a channel for the wire. I cut the face panel from sheer black fabric to roughly match the shape of the hood opening, then pinned and sewed it in place. The end of the wire should be curled to prevent it from catching on the fabric as it travels through the channel, and then the other end should be curled too so the wire doesn't stick you while you're wearing it, and to provide an anchor point for hand stitching the wire ends in place. To figure out where to place the LEDs, I found it easiest just to wear it and use a mirror. Then I used matching thread to stitch through the black fabric and circuit board mounting holes. I tack stitched the wires to the inside in a few places and switched to white thread for securing the battery holder, microcontroller board, and wireless receiver. After testing, we discovered the white fabric was letting too much light onto the face, so I cut another layer of just the hood portion of the pattern from some opaque black fabric and lined the hoods. Another key improvement was for visibility. Although you can see reasonably well through the sheer fabric, my boyfriend couldn't read the small text in his Ableton DJ software, so I removed the top section of the sheer fabric in his hood. But from far away and in the dark, you can't really tell the difference. After the Halloween party, we marched in the New York City Halloween Parade with my SBA students, who made electronic costumes as a class project. Don't forget there's a step-by-step -step tutorial for this project on Instructables, and there's a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching! I create videos about technology, crafts, and my life here in New York City. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to catch the next one.